You guys ready for this? Do I look skinny? <laughs> you look beefy. <laughs> hey guys, so I am here with the Bean team and a couple Bean fanatics, a Bean fanatic myself. We're heading down to Overland Expo West. And for those of you who don't know Dave, Dave Churchill, if you've checked out his YouTube channel, he's doing things so cool, not just with the Bean trailer, but just modifying things in general. Check that out. We're playing with sticks and we hope to see you guys down at Overland Expo West. Are you ready for the swell? I'm ready for it to get swole. Welcome back to another Bean Trailer Travel Guide. This year's challenge was to tackle the San Rafael swell with our poor lineup of off-road trailers. We laughed, had a few gut-wrenching moments, but of course still had a great time. Sit back and relax and be sure to add the San Rafael swell to your camping bucket list. Mark never goes to church without it. <laughs> That's why he never goes. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> you don't really want to hear this from a chubby guy, but um, we got a late start. Should we stop somewhere and get lunch and then, and then yeah. I second that. There will be no there will be no hunger on this trip. Eat it out. What are you Another eating? first. So after topping off our gas tanks and grabbing a bite to eat, we're all enthralled to finally be heading to our first enchanting location, the Wedge Overlook. As you can see, Utah is truly an adventure capital of the Mountain West. While driving 165 miles east out of SLC to our first site, the area was packed full of BLM camping and rugged adventure terrain to explore. If you're scared of heights, this first stop may not be for you. So down at the bottom, that river is the San Rafael. A lot of people will take, and you can go tubing down it or kayaking down it. That's a really cool trip. And sometimes you'll see campers down at the very bottom, people who will be kayaking down it. They'll find a spot off the side of the river, spend the night, wow. keep going. That's what all the locals call it. It's a little great. That's how a calm saunter along a desert canyon can turn into a horrifying thousand foot drop slip and slide. Unlike that scumbag scar, luckily the Beans narrator was there to lend a hand. As we cruised along the western edge, we were delighted to stop by and say hi to some bean owners that happened to be camping along the same route. We then continued our search of a premium site that could fit all five of our trailers. Hey, what are you guys all doing in here? Hanging out. This is a Middle Eastern flatbread. Uh, this is more of a traditional Indian flatbread. Yeah. And then this is an Arabic bread. And then this is this is the secret ingredient. This is the white sauce. The magic stuff right here. Put it on your eyes. I know you've all been waiting, so it's time to give this campsite an official bean rating. I love the world-class views. I love the mild off-roading along a sheer drop-off. I loved how private this site seemed, and I also loved the instant access to magnificent hiking. The warm meal provided during the thunderstorm was certainly a huge bonus. Pro tip, you can always increase the campsite rating by inviting the master chef extraordinaires, Mark and Cindy. 
For these reasons, I have to give this spot a five star. Inch of padding, you could go softer and it'd still be good. Well, I would say that if it's five inches, it better be pretty stiff. It's real is because the swell's full of, I mean, it's full of tons of, tons of dinosaur, uh, like bones and fossils and all sorts of stuff is found. There's a huge dinosaur in quarry not too far from it's us. It's an active dig site. That but they actually have the dinosaur footprint sign down there. And so I'm sure all this has been oh, like inspected and like. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. So that'd be the only reason why I would say it's most likely real. Oh, yeah. It looks real too. <laughs> I grew up in hunting. Well, for a lifetime, you know? It's like right on the Idaho border. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Tanner, good things going crazy. get one more shot where the canyon opens up up front there. Wouldn't be a proper bean trailer adventure without giving a few roadside walkthroughs. Everyone loves bean, everyone loves nature, and Buckhorn Draw Road couldn't be a more incredible off-road touring trail for those that want to get lost in it all. From ancient dinosaur tracks, petroglyphs, to unique red rock mesas, this region really is awe-inspiring and is the ultimate adventurer's playground. Beautiful view too. No. If I had gloves. Yeah. You're right. We have gloves. <laughs> if it was my first attempt and I had gloves. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions we get a lot is like, what what's the difference between a trailer that's made for off-road and a trailer that's just a regular teardrop? And it's really the vibration that you are sensing in my voice, that you're sensing, that you can feel in this vehicle. Vibration is trying to uh, delaminate every adhesive. It's trying to back every screw out. It's trying to destroy this vehicle and that trailer. And one of the ways that you avoid having a screw that vibration is trying to back out or adhesive that uh, vibration is trying to delaminate is by having a one piece shell. If there's no seam and no fastener, if you can minimize your seams and fasteners, then there's nothing for the vibration to attack. OK, 
Okay guys, this is where we're gonna get out, kind of assess the trail, make sure that the steps are in good shape. Often the trails change here, so. Is this the first test, right? A squared? Yeah. This, this is kind of where it... This thing got uh, wrapped up Friday night at 12.30 and uh, drove it home that night just to make sure it was safe on the freeway and then uh, taking it on an over thousand mile trip down to Flagstaff from Salt Lake. So it'll be good. We'll see how it does on the, the little ledges. You guys ready for this? What do you call this? Who's the guy who assists out everybody else? The spotter. Spotter? No, I didn't touch on anything, so. At least not hard, so she should be good. Okay, take it a little slow. There's some ledges coming up. Nice and slow. Beautiful. Hey, Raptor, you're good to go. Everything we've done up to this point has been pretty much easy, yeah. but you know, my wife and I talked about it, and I know where, how she feels, and I'm kind of the same way. It's like, yeah, it's not an enjoyable part. Yeah. You know, it's more yeah. like you're putting it at risk and yeah. what ifs and long ways from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a good husband. <laughs> I mean, if people just knew what you went through just to get to this section, huh. right? Oh, this is great. I don't, the bean, I don't worry about the bean at all. It's what do you the, worry about? The land rover. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, oh, yeah. right? Not the bean. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. Mark it up. Okay. We are right we love here. We don't have any service, up. so you'll have to download this map, probably since okay. you're from out of state. I pass, what, a little past Swayze's cabin. You don't want to go into it at all. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you can go look at it, and then out in this area, there's places to okay. camp. Okay, sweet. All right. Five. We were five, now we're four. Yes. Or were we four, now we're Discretion three. Discretion is the, what is it, better part of valor? It's how you keep a, a good wife around. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you tonight, man. All right. Hey, hey, happy we'll trail, folks. Yeah. Happy yeah. adventure. Yeah. Sorry we're building no, it. No worries. Hey, I'm here to let you clear your name for your channel. Would clear my name? Why are you not going down? Uh, it's just more a uh, level of risk, a higher level, a level of risk than what we're t uh, typically would ever choose to do. If it was something we had to do, I mean, we would go. But so if you're doing a calculated risk, what's your calculation? Like what's putting you at risk here? Not like what do you have? Yeah, it's more, it's a... we're a long ways away from home. We're driving a Land Rover, which is pretty hard to get parts and repairs and things like that. We have a lot of adventuring left to do so we don't want to wind up broke down and i was told that i'll repair the bean if you tear up the bean mark has already volunteered to nice. flip the bill for any damage brigham would you allow that would you allow that kind of damage to his trailer no <laughs> hey we'll see you at the next yeah okay well thanks stop. drew we must ask you to leave now <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you taking my sticker? Are you taking <laughs> And if the Land Rover fits under it, go check out the arch. It's cool. Because okay. well, that's something we're not going to do. All right. So nice. Go, go find it. It's not that far. Secret. It's like a 10 minute drive from yeah. okay. in this vicinity. Cool. Later, okay. man. I'll see you soon. Okay. It's the bean squared. It's not the bean we all know. 
but it is built on the same frame and has the same cloud suspension as the black bean. But you're sacrificing that beautiful galley I love, many of you love, for more space. This is a larger trailer inside, even though it's on the same frame, and the pop top is going to make it big enough to stand up in for anybody. So this is for growing families. This is for people who want that space. It's a bit more indoor living. They have an outdoor cooking area and an indoor cooking area, but again, no galley. You know I'm a galley guy. And so I'm just here to check this out. We're gonna put it to the test today, see if it makes it through these trails and see what you guys think. So you'll want to film up here. It's going to get super tight. So we kind of have to cut around a massive boulder that's bulging out. If you if you take the wrong line, you'll rip the trailer apart. You're like inches away from it. Heart stopper. Good you job, my it. man. You have to with the Raptor because of its length and width. That you was have wild. to ride that edge or else <laughs> that trailer, <laughs> the fender will clip. You? Wait till you see the video, man. <laughs> you Your front wheel wedding. was like off of it. So that was it for the day. Camp is up that way. We survived. 11 o'clock, hot cold. Look at us. It has the weather, like tracking. Yeah, so watch this, no, where it goes and then the time. Our second day was eventful. We were happy to see that all the beans that entered Eagles Canyon Trail also came out the other end in one piece. We did have a few hard stopping moments where we found our truck tires hanging halfway off a cliff, but in the end, we had to be confident in our rigs and trail master Brigham as he spotted us through. Eventually, we linked back up with the churches and found a great campsite north of Swayze Cabin on Rods Valley Road. The site was located in a humble juniper tree forest embedded between two impressive rock towers. The site was nothing short of spectacular, with great shade coverage, easy hiking accessibility, and insane views from the top. For these reasons, I have to give this site another 5 out of 5 bean rating. Dave, how's it feel to be back on the trail with the bean oh, crew? This is awesome. You have, might have to cut wider in the beginning. Dave, nope, this way, <laughs> this way. Just trust me. Utah is abundant for teardrop trailer travel. The state has 22.8 million acres of BLM land, ranking it third in the U.S. So if this travel guide has been inspiring so far, just know that you could spend a lifetime exploring the state and not find all the hidden gems. That's not to say we won't try. So fortunately this morning, the bean team was headed out on another day of exploration through Little Wild Horse Canyon. See that one, like right there? Yeah, yeah. the hawk. <laughs> that one's so cool. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them. Do you have like rock meat? <laughs> The 
desert was really starting to get toasty on the last full day of camping, so finding a slot canyon was the perfect way to cool off. The spiraling red rock walls were absolutely mesmerizing, and I can't wait to get back out there. Moving on to the final campsite review, this spot had quick access to famous hiking trails and parks like Goblin Valley State Park, and the surrounding Hoodoo sandstone monuments were incredibly unique, but if I had to rank all three spots that we got to experience during this excursion, this was my least favorite, so I have to give it a four out of five bean rating. I felt like it was missing something, but I still would encourage you to go out and try them all for yourself. Oh my goodness, wait till you guys see this video. You look like inmates. <laughs> Hold on. You look like... Or you look like you're about to go do a jump. Canada doesn't Did that happen this year? Leg out, flex the calf inward. That is good. That was good. <laughs> Woo! Before finishing our tour and heading down to Flagstaff, Arizona, we concluded our trip with a team hike through Goblin Valley State Park. What an amazing crew we had this time around. Thanks for joining us on our off-road adventure. The Sam Rafael Swell is a special place and Bean Trailer is the best camper option available to facilitate adventures alike. Our trailers are built rugged, refined, and ready to go anytime. From having the capability to make it through Eagles Canyon unscathed, to cooking an exquisite meal with the special sauce of course, to getting a peaceful night's rest under the desert stars, there's nothing quite like camping at a Bean.